Hey guys, Today I'm Rain here with another December Sundays. This one is going to be on a Major Kenneth D. Bailey. Um, he was in charge of, he was commanding officer for, for Charlie Company, Company C, of the 1st Marine Raider Battalion. Um, they were fighting on Guadalcanal. In particular, they were trying to protect um, Henderson Field, which I've talked about before. Uh, which was the main airstrip, the only airstrip on the island that the Marines needed to have. Absolutely had to have it. And so they were fighting viciously for this thing. Um, and this guy, as a side note, also had a silver star for some previous actions. Um, so bravery fucking exemplified this this Marine here. He, um, let's see. Basically what happened is these guys moved in, their company moved into position um, as a battalion's reserve unit. Um, so basically they would rotate where you'd have, you know, say three companies up on the line fighting off the Japanese and one in reserve. And they're still working, but they're also trying to rest and try to, you know, recoup from being on the line. And then after a certain amount of time, they would rotate. And they would go up and one of the companies that was already up there would, would come back. Um, and that's what they were doing. The even though he was reserved, though the right flank um, was under severe threat to be um, broken through by the enemy um, because there was apparently a slight gap. They were probably low on Marines, couldn't cover the entire front, and, uh, and so that side was a bit weaker than it should have been. Um, so in addition to uh, trying to, they basically went in there to try to help out. And in addition to that uh, situation, they they were also being hit very hard just from the Japanese in general. Um, they used every weapon at their, you know, he used every weapon he possibly could have to. Um, let's see here. He used every weapon in his command to cover the force withdrawal of the main line for him for a hammering assault by superior enemy forces. So basically, they were pulling back a bit to try and consolidate to get, make their line tighter, um, so that the enemy had less of a chance to get through. Uh, let's see. During this time, while fighting viciously against these guys, they. Major Bailey ended up getting wounded very severely in the head, but it wasn't enough to fucking get him out of the fight. Um, and he continually led his Marines in attack after attack in hand-to-hand -hand combat against the Japanese for a period of over 10 hours. 10 hours with the severe head wound. Um, he would, They fought against these dudes, and they fucking went at it with their hands, with their the butt socks, their rifles, with their knives, and they they fought as viciously as you could possibly fight against an enemy for ten hours. And during this time he ended up succumbing to his wounds, to his head wound, and I believe he was injured again. Um, but it doesn't say here. Um, but I mean can you imagine that for fighting for well over ten hours after being severely, severely wounded in the head, you're bleeding, you know, I guarantee you it's tough to think straight. Um, Got to be exhausted. Fighting hand to hand. If any of you've ever done like martial arts, you know, or wrestling, or anything like that, I mean, you start to get tired after minutes. Just absolutely minutes of, and that's just you know practice usually. You know, you're even if you're in great shape, I can guarantee you can't really wrestle full on for more than 15, 20 minutes. And these guys were doing it for ten hours. Ten hours they were fighting like this. And because of his leadership, because of his his determination despite his wounds, they were able to hold the line and prevent the enemy from um, creating a catastrophic breakthrough, and uh, which would have allowed them to possibly take the airfield. And because of everything he did, the enemy was unable to do that. And so because of that, he received the Medal of Honor. So yeah. All right, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up. I'll see you in the next one. Super bye.